Hello everyone, my name is Joni and I am a contemporary Christian romance author. I have published three books at the moment. One of them is a, is a poetry devotional called Outpourings of a Beloved Heart. And then I've got my two contemporary Christian romance novels called The One Who Knows Me and The One Who Loves Me. The third book in that uh, contemporary Christian romance series called The One Who Sees Me and it's going to be out June 6th this year 2023 today i am going to be sharing with you guys my author business goals for 2023 i have shared a 2022 indie author business year in review and if you watch the previous video so just go back in my page watch the previous video you would see how things went last year in terms of book sales uh, income and expenses so I will leave the link down below or you can go back on my channel and watch the previous video in today's video I will be telling you discussing my goals for 2023 and also I'll be showing you guys my author business plan now last January I read the book um, called Your Author Business Plan by Joanna Penn. I think that's what it's called. I'm just going to double check. Um, and that book literally changed my business uh, perspective, my author business perspective. It really helped me to know, to, you know, to literally be more intentional about my author business yeah it's called my author business plan it looks oh I don't know if you guys can see it but it looks something like that that's the book I'd really recommend it's called your author business plan it's got by Joanna Penn I got it from Amazon and it really talks you through like the different parts of your author business plan that you can actually incorporate and make it yours and the book is quite simple to read and simple to understand and it's quite basic I had no idea what I was doing I have never made an author a business plan before and like I said it really really helped me to be more intentional about my author business mm -hmm. so I'm going to um share my screen and then we're going to talk about my author business plan and we'll talk about the goals so you've got 2023 author business plan and from here we're going to talk about the goals for the author business so at my author business is called love qualified press and so these are the four sections of my author business plan i'm just going to discuss with you guys what the different sections entail um, and then we'll talk about the goals for the year so the first bit of it is the business summary business summary and brand second is about production third is about marketing and the fourth is about financials now this plan a lot of it I copied from my 2022 author business plan which you can see here and um, I'm just going to basically um, just discuss with you all the different sections now the different the first section is further divided into different sections the first bit is about company structure now, the company structure just tells you more about your the company, like what your business is about. And you should know what your business is about, because I think this is the first thing that um, Joanna Penn actually asked. Like, do you know what your business is about? Like, what's your brand? What what what, what are things about that you need to know um, from the very beginning? So this is um, my author business. Um, currently not registered officially, but I published under the name Joan and Bola and companies Love Qualified, um, Imprint Love Qualified Press. I will consider, so in the UK, it's quite, things are quite different compared to the US. Um, and obviously in the US, you talk about things like LLCs, like li limited liability companies and things like that. In the UK, we talk about sole traders and limited companies. So you can register as a sole trader versus a limited company and there are pros and cons to that. At the moment, I'm not registered as either. Um, and so, but like I said, I will consider registering as a sole trader when I earn and sustain a certain amount of profit a year from the author business, when that time comes, also I'm going to do more research about that and register as a sole trader um, and, and look more into that. So yeah, now this is my business summary. So like I said, it's Love Qualifies, a tentative name for the business inspired by the ministry that God placed in my heart in 2018. And that ministry is inspired by Colossians 1 verse 12. It's a ministry which encourages encourages others to experience the sovereign love of the one true God who has qualified us to be his beloved ones. Through novels, devotionals, videos, merchandise, and social media, Love Qualified aims to spread God's love one word at a time. As if you, if you go on my website, you see that it says Joan and Bola spreading God's love one word at a time that's sort of like the tagline for the brand or whatever if you want to call that 
Um, the business also would also aim to expand in the future to provide services to Christian writers and others to help them along their writing and publishing journey. So this is something for the future. I'm just writing it down. I'm not thinking about that at the moment. And in fact, I'm actually changing my mind about providing services, but it's just something I wrote down last year and I just copied onto this year. Now we talk about big picture goals. Um, so we'll talk about big picture goals and also go into goals for 2023. So big picture goals is to reach more people, spread the love and gospel of Jesus Christ through my books and through my services and whatever services that I provide. Um, to build a community of readers who love my work, but also uh, who are also willing to support me and things like that. To build a community of believers where we can grow together in Christ. That's the ultimate goal. And to support other Christian authors encouraging them in their writing and publishing journey so it's quite Christ-centered because I'm a Christian fiction author and all the products that I made are centered around the gospel so very very important part of my brand and the message of the business now moving on to goals of 2023 so um I have a specific gross income goal that I'm hoping to earn this year. Um, I didn't put that specific goal here. I'm not, I think that's a bit too personal to put out there, but there is a goal that I want to, I'm looking forward to earn this year. And obviously it's a bit more than I'm aiming for to have a bit more than I earned last year, because obviously from year to year, you want the author business to grow, which again, is always the aim to as we grow as, as the time passes you want to grow bigger and better so which is great um i also want to break even and all the money i spend publishing the one who sees me by the end of 2023 so the one who sees me is the third book in my contemporary christian romance series like i said that will be published on the 6th of june um and i hope that by december my, my hope is that we would have broken even and the money we spent on that we have broken even on the other two novels, which is great. Absolutely amazing. So I'm hoping that we'll do that for the third novel as well. The third goal is to earn at least a certain amount of net income from the author business. So again, this is different from the gross income. So gross income is everything you earn before ta before your expenses and tax and things like that. Net income is, you know, after tax and after your expenses. So I want my net income to grow this year. So the whole point of the, I mean, what I want to do better is to sp spend less and earn more so that I'll have more profits, if that makes sense. So that's the whole, that's the goal for this year. Um, I have a specific number as well I'm aiming for, but again, like I said, I'm not going to be sharing that today. Um, the fourth goal is to break even in the other business. So like last year, so I want to be able to, I mean, to be honest, that's kind of the same as the one before, Um, although with this one is more of specific um, net income, but breaking even in the other business, what I mean is that I want us to, I want the business to, the, the, the profits to um, be higher than the expenses so we get profits um, as opposed to being at a negative so I want to break even on the expenses so that's what um, I mean by that if that's not clear then moving on to sales goals um, I want to sell at least 350 copies of the one who knows me it's quite small because last year we sold 631 copies but again like I said I'm I'm going to aim small and um uh, last year my aim was 100 copies and we surpassed that goal because we sold 631 so obviously this year it's going to go up to 350 but I'm hoping to earn to sell more than we sold last year um, I suppose that's just the way I'm looking at it maybe I should earn I should say at least 500 but you know um, maybe I should say five, at least 500 who knows Um, but yeah let's just keep it at 350 and also 350 for the one who loves, loves me and 350 for the one who sees me and then 12 copies for the devotionals. The reason why it's so low is because I mentioned in the last video that it's so difficult to market the devotional. Um, I will be pub by, I hope to publish another devotional this year. Um, so actually I haven't even spoken about the two books. So the two, one of the, the goals of 2023 in terms of publishing, I'm going to be publishing The One Who Sees Me, which is the third book in the contemporary Christian romance series. Then there's a devotional which I'm going to be publishing as well in September. It's um, a companion devotional to the first novel, to my debut novel, The One Who Knows Me. It's called The God Who Knows Me. It's a companion devotional. So um, this is the first time I'm talking about that, the title here. So, um, so I'm going to be publishing two books this year. And the hope is that with devotionals in total to 
sell at least one devotional a month, which will make 12 copies and all because I feel like devotional is a nonfiction. For me, anyway, I found that it's not as easy to market compared to the fiction work. So that's why the goal for that is so low. But obviously, I'm hoping for more. We sold 18 devotionals last year. There's going to be an extra devotional this year, so maybe we'll sell more. So like I said, I, I, I shoot quite low I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing but I'm hoping that obviously we'll do better this year than we did last year so that is it for the goals um we're going to move on to author brand obviously um like I mentioned before um the god's love is the center of my work to produce god on god honoring products that will draw readers closer to god my books and services will always seek to advance the gospel and i'll write about diverse characters whose hopeful stories point toward the love and goodness of god in our broken world and my books will ta tackle themes such as depression anxiety bullying suicide insecurities rejection and many other struggles christians face they will always po always point readers to the light and hope we have in jesus christ so that's very very important for me genres category subcategory so young adult and adult contemporary christian romance devotionals i'm looking into low content books such as um, notebooks and journals and things like that obviously that's not something i'm going to tackle this year but that's something that i'm looking to do in the future so um yeah comparison authors i've got these three authors which i really admire i admire their work ethic and i admire what they're doing and what god is using them for the first author is tony shiloh she's a hybrid author so she's published with she's got um she publishes books with um bethany house if you've heard of in search of a prince which she published last year the um which is a royalty contemporary royal romance set in a fictional village in africa um i have yet to read that book but you know i quite love her work ethic and the fact that she's a hybrid author she self she's self-published books and then she's traditionally published books i i hope to be a hybrid author one day so that's so why I look up to her and admire her so much. And she's a Christian author. I love the fact that God is the center of her books and she writes diverse characters. That is what I aim to do. I want to spread the diversity in Christian fiction because I don't feel like Christian fiction is diverse enough. And so we need authors like this to, you know, spread the diversity. The second author I uh, look up to is, is called Tope Matosho. Um, she's an indie author. She's Nigerian based. Um, she's, she's one of my friends and she's been on this channel before um, if you watch the live stream I did for the release day live stream for the one who loves me she was uh, hosting with me I love her work ethic again diversity in Christian fiction Christian fiction that glorifies God centered around God and you know the work her work ethic is amazing so Topo, if you're watching this, I love you and I admire your work ethic. I think you're great. So these are another author. This is another author that I look up to. And the last author is Kim Cash Tate. Um, she's also a hybrid author. She um again, I have some of her books. I haven't read them yet, but like I said, I, I admire her work ethic and things that she does. Again, she promotes diversity in Christian fiction. Her work is centered around, but I follow her on social media. The thing I love about Kim Cash Tate is that it's not just books for her. Like she's a, I think she's a her, her, her husband is a pastor she's very heavily involved in ministry and uh, ministry work and she I love watching her videos you know she's very she's so passionate about encouraging other believers to um, study the word of God and to encourage other believers by it from looking at the word of God and I, I am a teacher I'm a Bible teacher I love encouraging others and she does like um, screenwriting as well if I'm being if I'm not being mistaken and she's she acts as well and she's made like some short films which is on her youtube channel as well she, she does quite a few things which is kind of like what i do because like i said my ministry the ministry is called um love qualified and we have an instagram page and here on youtube is called love qualified and i do bible study videos and things like that so i really admire kim cash Day in that respect so these are three authors that i look up to and as you can see there's quite a few similarities between what i aim to do and what i'm doing now and my, this is my target audience. I'm not going to read them out, but you can pause the video and read them out there if you want to. That's the first part of the author business plan. The second part is production, which we're going to talk about a bit. So the products, again, just running through really quickly, novels, devotionals, YouTube, as in content creation, uh, my website. So things that I'll put on my website, journals, merchandise, affiliate income courses i'm not sure about that i just put that there um and then maybe at some point in the future some sort of paid membership like youtube membership buy me a coffee or patreon 
that. And then now this is what you guys might be interested in. So write, writing and editing and publishing schedule for 2023. The one who sees me obviously is the first, um, my, my, my first priority for this year, because this is the book that releases in June. Um, by the time you watch this video, I'm hoping that I would have sent the, the, the manuscript to my editor because I'm recording this on January 2nd and I'm meant to send the book to my editor January 7th. Um, this video will go up January 14th, I think. So I'm hoping that that has already been ticked. Um, so it's like a tick list. So I, I as the year goes by, as I do that, I just tick the box. Um, then I hope to finish developmental edits, copy edits, proofreads with my editor, do the cover design, format it, do final proofreads, cover review, they send arts, and then publish June 6th. So I've got all these things that I'm doing. The next thing is book four. So the fourth book in the series. If you guys don't know by now, I think you probably know I've, I've announced it in previous vlogs. I got inspiration for the fourth book in the series. I thought the one who sees me was going to be the last book, but Lo and behold, I got a, I got an idea for the third book. So that book has, I've actually outlined that book. Like I've done a really good outline, but I'm, I am aiming that by the end of January, I would have worked on the outline a bit more and finished it and finalized it. I don't think I'll have time to start drafting. Well, I might start drafting after, but maybe if I have time, I might finish drafting after I publish book three. But I don't know, this is quite ambitious for me. So if I'm not able to finish the first draft by June 30th, then it will have to be November. So um, because I've got other things I need to do after June. So if all things goes well, if all things go well, I will finish the first draft in June, then decompression time in July, then reread and make notes in August, then finish self-development online edits September and October, send to beta readers in November, and then finish copy and beta edits in December so I can get it ready to send to my editor in January of 2024. Again, this is if things go to plan, this might change. And I'm very happy if it changes because like I said, I like to be quite flexible. With that, I can be flexible. What not with the one who sees me because I, I have a date for that, a publication date for that. Next thing is the God who knows me, the companion devotion I talked about earlier. Again, I'm hoping to finalize the outline by March, finish drafting in April, edit, 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 formats, but and then um publish 10th of September 2023 at the two-year anniversary of the one who knows me. So I've got to do that this year as well. Next one is it's called it's a sh short story or I think it's a short story called Jane's Cold Feet. I want to make this available to my newsletter subscribers. And I'm hoping to draft that in July for July Camp Panorama. Like I said, it's going to be a shorter piece of work. So I'm hoping that that wouldn't, um, you know, be too, I wouldn't have to spend too much time on that. But we'll see. If I'm not able to do that this year, I'm more than happy to push it to next year. But it's just a story that I would like to write and uh, make it available to my newsletter subscribers to change that. Um, use it as a reader ma magnet to get more subscribers so and then the last thing is a YA contemporary novel which I'm looking to write I was looking to write this year but actually since I got the <laughs> I got the idea for book four in the Southern Love series I'm not going to be able to write this YA contemporary this year so actually I put it here but I think it's most likely going to be 2024 I start working on this draft so there you go that's the writing editing and publishing schedule or schedule um, I don't think this one's important. It's just like different prices and things for different books. Now, marketing, I haven't filled out what I'm going to do for marketing. I think for January for this, it's just going to be TikTok um, because I posted a video about the devotional this year, um, this month. So TikTok, I'm going to have to sit down and think about how I'm going to market the devotional this month. So I haven't done that yet. Um, for the one who knows me, I think it's majority, like I said, video marketing. But like in June, I plan to do... Fossy Librarian, um, because I think in June, that's when The One Who Sees Me will be releasing. So I would like to do a promo on The One Who Knows Me so that I can get read throughs and then people will hopefully read The One Who Knows Me, The One Who Loves Me, The One Who Sees Me. So I plan to do that. And then in September, when I do the two-year mark, two-year anniversary, I hope to do another 99p book sale and the UK paperback giveaway. And then in December, I'll probably do another signed copy book sale or something like that so that's the, for the one who knows me and then for the one who loves me in may obviously it's going to turn one years old one year old i will do a um book sale for that book for my promo faithful reads book promo i'll probably do that in november as well for black friday did i mention november black friday oh i'm going to go black friday sale here as well black friday book sale <laughs> 
Mas pwede ka na din sa mga sense sa mga tapa ila. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see what, how that goes. But yes, um, the one who loves me, Black Friday, but so, uh, Fossi Librarian for more things like that. So we'll do that. And then, um, sign for copy book sale in December. And then the one who sees me is a bit more, obviously this is a bit more filled up because my priority is that this year. Um, January, title is Blood Reveal plus Amazon Evil Pre-Order plus Joy Street Team, Book Launch Team. So this should have already happened by the time this video goes up. So I'll just tip that. February, I'll do the character reveal. March, character aesthetic video. April, sharing the first chapter. These are all marketing strategies. May, cover reveal plus Riley Book Pre-Order. There's group about Pre-Order. And then June, book release. So I'm going to do a release day live stream. Book for my promo, TikTok promo. I don't know if I'll do a book tour, but I'll think about that. July, I'll do a paperback giveaway. August, I'll share reviews and TikTok videos. September, TikTok. October, TikTok videos, or just videos in general on social media. November, we'll do a Black Friday sale. And in December, we'll do a signed copy book sale. So that's basically what I've planned so far, because things can change. Now, in terms of financials, um, obviously nothing is on here yet. I'm hoping to add two more sources of income to the author business this year, and that's affiliate income and the merch store. So I'm hoping to launch the merch store by the end of this month, January. So hopefully that will bring in some more income. Um, and then affiliate marketing, um, I hope to look into Vellum for writing aid in Canva because I've used these three. They're really helpful um, in my author business. So I'm hoping to um, do join the affiliate marketing program for those. Content creation is going to be some more things like YouTube, Instagram, like the Reels program and things like that. I don't know when that's going to happen. In YouTube, um, I've got the number of subscribers, but it's just a few counts that we don't have yet. So whenever that happens in the future, you know, I might be able to get some money from content creation. But again, that's a, something that may or may not happen this year. So it's just there. So there you go. Um, And then in terms of expenses i've got production costs again book blurb and editing cover design proof copies signed copies prestige and packaging bookmarks and stickers all of that um website and subscriptions we've got the website domain name premium with subscription um book for now i don't think publisher rocket because i've already paid that so one time fee canvas subscription association of christian writers membership email list service i suppose i could add the um uh, allied um independent i think allies but i'm like independent uh something associated like that. anyway i plan to join that um ally it's called ally alliance of independent authors there you go <laughs> i was trying to remember the names but alliance of independent authors um, I'm going to join that same membership. I'm going to join that this year. So that's going to count as well. If I'm going to use an email list service or so social media scheduling and stuff, it's going to go here as well. And then marketing. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do ads. I don't think I'm going to do so this year, maybe next year. But um, any promotional tools, giveaways, paid email list sites, I might do that. Training, so conferences, books, courses, research, cost of doing business, all of these things. And then I'm going, this is something I'm going to add on to ex, every expense by month, just to make sure I'm keeping track of how much I'm spending every month. So yeah, and I'm going to record all my profits, total profits for 2023, and then the total profits for the author business. So there you go. That is my 2023 author business plan. I'm going to stop sharing. I hope that this video hasn't gone on for too long. I tried to sort of whisk through just to make sure that it doesn't become too long. Um... That's basically what I plan to do for 2023. Let me know what you guys' plans are for 2023. Let me know um, your writing goals, your publishing goals. And if you have any questions about my author business plan or about my goals or about this video in general, please let me know. I'd love to have a discussion with you. So leave a comment down below. Check out my books. Um, if you're a reader of Christian fiction, if you love contemporary Christian romance, then check out my books down below. Um, my third novel, The One Who Sees Me, is now available for pre-order on Amazon. So um, if you're an ebook reader, you can pre-order your copy now. So I'll leave the links down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a lovely day and God bless you. Bye.